Greetings, fellow carnivores. Parliament's butchering Brexit. And this week it sells for the chop. Michael Gove, meanwhile, wants more nose to tail eating. Let's get into the meat of British politics. All right, Dave. Talking of butchering Brexit, Nigel Farage had sharp words for the BBC's treatment of his new party and Andrew Marr's line of questioning. Do you still feel that people with HIV shouldn't be allowed into this country? Do I think the National Health Service is there for British people? Yes, I absolutely do. So you, st you still do? Um, do you this is absolutely ludicrous. I've never in my life seen a more ridiculous interview than this. You are not prepared to talk about what is going on in this country today. You're in denial, the BBC's in denial, the Tory and Labour parties are in denial. I think you're all in for a bigger surprise on we, Thursday we have than you can it. even imagine. We Still, it's all good publicity, hey Nige? Something that Heidi Allen, Change UK co-leader, could use after her Have I Got News For You performance went down the plug hole. And then Nigel Farage refused to debate her. He said no. He said no? He said no. What a coward. That's very disappointing. In all seriousness, if he has said no, that displays to me a level of arrogance that says he thinks that his view is the only one that matters. <laughs> With the Euro elections looming, Downing Street said Theresa May's deal will be put through the grinder again in early June. And if the Maybots deal's defeated for a fourth time, it'll be mincemeat. And probably the Prime Minister too. If the House of Commons does not approve the WAP, then the Barnier deal is dead uh, in that form. Uh, and I think the House will uh, have to then uh, address a much more fundamental question between uh, whether it will pursue and communicate on a new, that's a new deal option or whether it will revoke. The Prime Minister came under yet more pressure as arch Eurosceptic Peter Bone called for her to resign now, before the European elections. And he added the weight of his local activists. They say that her deal is worse than staying in the European oh, Union, the that they want us to come out now on a no deal basis. And, sir, more importantly, they've lost confidence in the Prime Minister and wish her to resign before the European elections. Prime Minister, what message do you have to say? to these dedicated and loyal Conservatives. If everybody in the House of Commons had voted alongside with the Government and the majority of Conservative Members of Parliament, we would already have left the European Union. And then Boris got stuck in. Is May heading for George Osborne's deep freeze? I'm going to go for it. Of course I'm going to go for it. Um, uh, you know, I'm going to go for it. I don't think that's... I don't, think, I, I don't think that is uh, any particular secret to, to anybody. On Thursday, the Prime Minister also met senior Conservative MPs to discuss her future. We have agreed to meet to decide the timetable for the election of a new leader of the Conservative Party as soon as the second reading has occurred, and that will take place regardless of what, what the vote is uh, on the second reading, whether it passes or whether it fails to pass. Sadly, for a Prime Minister whose survival now depends on Brexit, her deal's still getting no cross-party cut through. I got you covered, but baby, you're my meat. If the government were to put forward its deal to Parliament, however modified by the Labour Party, we've made it very clear we would support it, providing it's subject to a confirmatory referendum. Democracy is what happens between referendums and between general elections. It's an ongoing process. We have a broken political system, and part of the reason for that is we think uh, you just have an election uh, or a referendum, and that solves everything. We, we have been treated with contempt by this government. Can the Prime Minister tell us, has a backroom agreement been reached with the Leader of the Opposition to sell out the people of Scotland and force her shoddy deal through? After weeks of political fisticuffs, the Prime Minister's still battling to do a deal with Labour. 
I'm a tiger, I'm a tiger. But for all her fighting spirit, the Maybot probably faces defeat. We don't think there's a deal there yet ready for us to sign up to. And our big problem now is if we're going to march our troops in Parliament to the top of the hill to vote for a deal, and then that's overturned literally in weeks, I think that would be a cataclysmic act of bad faith in politics. You got to be a big mag, we kill to your quarter pounder with some cheese filet, a bitch of Africa, a cheese burger. But PMQ's, the Labour leader, used his slot to press the Prime Minister on a landmark report on UK inequality. The Nobel Prize winning economist Sir Angus Deaton said the UK risks having extreme inequality levels of pay, wealth and health. Of the G7 countries, only the United States is more unequal than Britain. Is that something the Prime Minister is proud of? Income inequality is down since 2010. The lowest pay had seen their wages grow the fastest since 2015. Yeah, yeah. The top 1% are contributing more income tax than at any point under the last Labour government. Time for my bone broth. Ooh. With Brexit still in deep freeze, the Commons hasn't held a vote for over a month now. Some are talking about a zombie parliament. But Environment Secretary Michael Gove, he's on top of his brief, urging us to end food waste. Eating off-cuts, awful, the lot. What we should do is we should celebrate food. We should celebrate what it means in all our lives. So food is uh, a source of joy to so many, something so precious that we should hate to waste it, and also a way of showing, as, uh, as I underlined earlier, uh, that we care for our planet, we care for our fellow citizens, and we care about the future. Mr. Gove on manoeuvres? Of course not. I have to say, there's no waste here. You got any gammon, mister? Gammon, sure. We've got two in the studio. Andrew, Choo Choo, back to you. Bad and forty, but lordy, lordy, you're my meat.